So I think first and foremost, jobs are being lost at all levels within the organisation. So, you know, this isn't contained to one level or one specialism or skill set. So I think this advice applies to, to many. And I think what you're faced by is obviously being on the market in a more active situation where there are a greater number of job seekers. So it's becoming more and more competitive for those people that are, are currently unemployed to regain employment. And really what you need to focus on is what are the things that differentiate you from other candidates that may be applying for the same job. So is that the, the presentation of your profile or your, or, or your resume? Are there ways that you can differentiate yourself through that? So, you know, looking at that as, you know, that's essentially a sales document. Is that correctly portraying the experiences that you've had throughout your career? And is that something that can demonstrate a difference between you and somebody else? Um, I think for, for my advice to those job seekers was also be to, to to actually look at regaining employment as a permanent role in itself. So people that dedicate the right time and effort and energy and work proactively um, to regain employment will succeed far quicker um, than those that are reactive. And um, there are a number of channels to market. Um, there is obviously the traditional recruitment agencies that people can work through. But my advice would be to sit down initially for starters, plan out the organizations that you would like to work for, plan out organizations you have your desire to, to approach on the basis of either knowledge of those organizations, um, referrals that can get you a, a, some insight into the organization, or an affinity with that company's brand or product offering. And I would say using a multiple strategy. So many of the organizations today have actually moved away from hiring through traditional recruitment agencies because of the cost and um, so they will be looking at direct sourcing so sourcing via their own brand sourcing via their own employee referral programs and so as a result of that I think trying to mirror your job search to some of the activities that the organization themselves will have in place by far and away um, employee referrals you know stands out as a, as a way to really tap into your network use your network and take advantage of that to actually get the opportunity to get in front of these organizations. The other would be to apply directly via their careers portals, to sign up to regular newsletters. Obviously there is traditional recruitment um, advertising as well that you can follow whether that be um, online or offline. And I think taking an approach which is actually structured, which is segmented in terms of the approach that you're going to take and which is clearly targeted and that you actually track your performance on the companies that you're approaching, the roles that um, you're approaching and be specific about the reasons why you're applying to that particular job and the reasons why you're applying to that particular company. And the other thing for people that are potentially looking at um, cross-training or cross-skilling um, into different markets is to try to look at where the direction of cash for some of these government stimulus packages may be going. So for instance, if you look in Hong Kong, um, whilst there is a, a higher than, than previous six months unemployment index, the government have committed to creating between 60 and 70,000 jobs. And so actually looking at the sectors that they're looking to create those in and, and actually looking at whether you could actually have transferable skills to move into those. So for for instance, many of those are being created in government-related positions in terms of civil service. Um, some of them are temporary um, opportunities which you may look to take advantage of if you're unemployed. Others are within the construction sector. So I, I would look far and broad around that and try to use that as an opportunity to analyse um, where you think you could fit in. Don't just think of the role that you've previously performed and trying to secure something in the same way. I think try to, you know, to remain flexible um, and I would also say to, to those individuals that are looking for work, flexibility is the key, whether that be location, whether that be salary level, or whether that be company that they're looking to work for. Um, you know, organizations are having to be um, fairly fluid thinking in terms of their approach today when hiring, and, and so should job seekers. They should try to be as accommodating as possible, notwithstanding that, um, you know, they have some of their own desires and needs that need to be met.